back. 1200 meter repeat. Done. <sighs> oh, shit. Pretty good paces today. Um, Tough workout. It wasn't too hot though. It was only like 78 degrees, which is really, really nice. Um, I have this thingy okay. Let's see if I can change this angle a little bit. All right. All right. Um, so yeah. So uh, pretty solid paces for me today. So that was good. I felt pretty strong. Um, I had 1,200 meter repeats uh, with a 400 meter uh, recovery for four rounds. Um, the goal was between a 6.30 and 6.50 pace, and I kept it right there. It was, I think, 6.42, 6.36, 6.32, and then a 6.46. That last one was pretty rough to um, to maintain the pace but at the same time being that they were longer intervals I felt pretty darn strong um, I felt like I was less sprinting and more at a controlled pace than I have in the past trying to maintain that same um, pace and so that was nice to feel that way and, and you're always kind of on this continuum and the goal is to kind of build and then be able to kind of maintain towards the end and I felt like I was able to do that as opposed to sprinting and then just trying to hold on for dear life towards the end although in my last interval I kind of sort of felt that way um, but that was the first time that I kind of felt like, oh, I could probably maintain this for um, a long period of time at some point in the future with some consistency with uh, training uh, over the next you know, year or so. And so that was kind of cool. Um, what I'll say is one thing about fitness is um, it's really, really difficult. It's hard. Um, and I talk about that with our clients all the time. Um, it's not supposed to be easy. Um, the whole idea of being fit and getting healthier and, and trying to increase your, your fitness is that you're just kind of suffering almost all the time. Um, because in order for your body to be able to adapt to a higher stressor, you have to apply that stress. It's not just going to happen by doing the same thing over and over again, which is why I think that resistance training is, I won't say easier, but it is an easier thing to do than cardiovascular training or increasing your um, your VO2 max because you can maintain a relatively safe level of training, just be consistent, and um, and just continue to add heavier weight over time. It is still hard. Don't get me wrong. But it's something um, that is very different than going out and challenging your cardiovascular conditioning and, I mean, essentially feeling like you're going to die, um, which is kind of what it feels like with cardiovascular training is that at some point you're pushing yourself to the point of uh, what feels like near death, where... I don't necessarily feel like that. There is some risk in weight training, don't get me wrong, um, by adding more weight and a heavier load and there, there's risk of injury with certain movements. But 
um, the feeling of dying for an extended period of time is just, it's just different. Um, and so uh, I respect endurance training a lot. Um, I think that's why a lot of people don't enjoy cardiovascular training. Generally in our boot camps, clients, they like strength training days more than they like what we call metcon days or metabolic conditioning days because on those metabolic conditioning days you kind of sort of feel like you're gonna die i mean there is a shirt that we have um, with the motto but did you die um and so um yeah i you know regardless of what you choose um trying to increase your level of fitness is really really hard and when I see people that are consistent with their health and their fitness, um, I have a, an extremely high level of respect for their discipline and their willingness to continually expose themselves to difficult things in order to improve themselves. So, um, yeah, those are my thoughts today. Being healthy and fit is very, very difficult. It is continually suffering over and over and over again. And that's exactly why a lot of people choose not to do it. Um, but you're not going to get healthy and fit just doing nothing, right? So this is my encouragement to you. Uh, this is my call to action to you to just start the journey. And uh, as uh, one of my mentors would say, Bedros Koulian, what he would say is embrace the suck. You just have to embrace how much it sucks. And you have to put together a positive association with the suck. And if you can do that, and when you do that, when you kind of sort of enjoy pushing yourself to the limit and have kind of a little badge of honor to push yourself past your limits, um, that's when great things really, really happen. And it translates into many, many other aspects of your life. So um, that's my message to you. Embrace the suck. Understand that fitness is hard. Um, but once you can build a positive association with it, man, that's when the doors really start to open. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and uh, I'll catch you next time.